Coaches, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group uh, channel. This is Coach Coltharp um, from North Carolina. And, uh, you know, today being the 4th of July, I thought we would talk about freedom. Um, you know, we're, we are the land of the free and the home of the brave. And, and, and today being the day that we decided that we were going to be free, I thought freedom would be a good idea to, uh, to discuss when it comes to the air raid. And, and the question that I have for you is, do you give the quarterback the freedom to make you right? And, and so how do we talk about that? Well, you know, in, in typical terms, we do allow quarterbacks to audible in most offenses. Um, and, and in total air rate system, we talk about this a little bit. Um, you know, is it, is the, are the checks coach driven or are they player driven and what do they do that? Um, one of the concepts that I learned very early on is when I went to the Tony Franklin series and I went to Tony Franklin's clinic and I've told you guys many times how overwhelming that that weekend was. I mean, it was just football, 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 football. And if you have no basis for what he's teaching, it's really, really hard to like suck in. You know, now that I look back on a lot of the stuff that Tony was teaching because I have a basis for the air raid, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. I do it a little bit different, but I understand why he does it. But as a newbie who didn't really understand it that well, it was a lot. But one of the things that they talked about, um, one of the high school guys at that time, Jeep Irwin, talked about this idea of, um, of box DEA. And, and basically what that meant was it was kind of a pre-snap deal for the quarterback. And basically, he was going to look at the box, the depth, then the eyes and the alignment of the secondary. And so, in, in this situation, the quarterback is going to look and see that he has box the E out of the way so you can kind of get a better idea. He has a six-man box. Now, if you've seen the total air rate stuff or you've heard me talk about it, you, I talked to you about, you know, in my opinion, when you have a six-man box, you need to have a plus one run or you need to check. You know, I, I don't really like running zone into a six-man box as much as I like running gap if I'm going to bring, you know, a plus one to that side. So the quarterback immediately says, okay, I have six. So I know checking to a run is probably not going to be what I'm going to do. The next thing is he's going to look at the depth of the corners. Okay, he's going to look at the depth. So over here he's got press. Over here he's got backside. So depending on what we're working, he'll say, okay, this is going to push me over here. Or this is going to push me over there. Like in quick game, we know that if we get press coverage in quick game, we're going to work backside. That's just kind of our rule. Then he's going to look at the eyes. And, and, and those eyes are going to tell you if the, if the corners are looking dead at the receivers, they're generally in some kind of man coverage. If they're looking in at the quarterback, they're either not well coached or they're in zone. Okay? And either way, you know it's going to be zone and not man. Um, so that's what they're looking at. And then the last piece he looks at is the alignment. Are, are the safeties more in the middle? Are the corners outside? Are they inside? And these kind of things. And, and this idea of box DEA gives the quarterback the freedom to kind of decide what he's going to do. And if you're one of these guys who throws like what my mentor used to call him routes, the air raid is probably not for you. And a hem route is, hey, yo, go out there and throw it to him. You know, that, that just doesn't, that doesn't work. You have to know the progression. You have to work the progressions. And then this idea of box DEA at the beginning of the play will give you the freedom to allow the quarterback to make decisions and get you in good places. Hey, listen, I hope this is giving you a little bit of a, a, a thought for today on how to talk about pre-snap reads for your quarterbacks. Um, there's a lot of good resources out there. Um, on, on what to do uh, 
Uh, I, I keep talking about it a lot. Uh, I really should see if he'll, if he'll sponsor the channel or something. But my buddy Patrick Taylor, if you haven't read his open grass read stuff, read his open grass read stuff. It's really good. He has a, uh, a little system that you can look at where it talks about just about training the quarterback in the air raid, which I think is really beneficial to you. Um, but, you know, the idea of box DEA, this, you know, what counting the box, knowing the depth, eyes, and alignment of the secondary, puts your quarterback in a position that if you give him the freedom to check plays and things like that, um, he's going to be really successful. Check us out on the web, 92meshgroup.com, your internet home for the air raid. Um, if you haven't purchased your total air rate system, the sale is still good until July the 10th. Use the code 1776 USA. I hope everybody has a great fourth. I hope your I hope your grill is smoking and your grass is open. Spin it to win.